Hello everyone, today I'm going to be disassembling a Garmin Nuvi uh, 2555 uh, LMT and uh, just to show you how, to, how it disassembles uh, if you had to change a, a uh, display screen on it this would show you how to take that apart I'm going to totally disassemble it um, so here's the tools you're going to need you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver I don't know yet which size bit you're going to need but when I get in there I'll, I'll give you that size uh, I'm going to use a case opening tool as you can see here. It's made out of plastic and only use plastic to crack it open because otherwise you'll scratch the, the finish on all of it. Uh, you can also use a, a guitar pick if you wish. You're also going to need a T5 um, Torx head, uh, what do you call it, jeweler's screwdriver. Okay, and that's going to take the screws off the uh, back of the unit. So let's get at it. Alright, there's four screws to taking it apart. One, two, three, four. So we'll take those off first. Alright, there's two halves to the Nuvi. As you can see, there's a front face plate which is black and, and, and a, a grayer uh, back half. And it's like a clamshell. Uh, and it's snapped together between the two pieces. Now, the LCD screen is actually attached to the front half and the electronics are attached to the back. And the two of them are attached with a ribbon cable. So when you're taking this apart, uh, understand that the front is physically connected to the back through a little thin uh, ribbon cable. You don't want to rip that. So take good care when you're splitting this case apart, not to, you know, yank it apart, uh, but to be very careful just to split it open and then carefully separate it without yanking on the wire that's connected from the front screen to the electronics on the back. Okay. Um, here's the power button and that's where I'm going to start and I'm going to go this way and down and all the way around until it comes off. So I'm going to start with the uh, guitar pick. And I'm just going to push it in at an angle like that as you can see. And after that I'm just going to go across. Oh. And be careful not to slide anything underneath that power switch by the way because if you do you, you may break the, the actual power uh, switch itself, so do not put anything underneath the power switch. As you can see, it's a little tricky to keep it in there. And uh, you're going to need two of these picks or something to keep it open to keep it from snapping back. So I'm just going to use my other pry tool just to keep it open. And just put it in like that so it stays. And uh, then we keep going around. And the guitar pick seems to be working okay. Alright, so keep going. And as you can see here, you can hear the clips coming off as I go around. And I'm just going to keep moving this to keep the shell from snapping back together again. And when you get to about this point, you're, you're pretty well done. Um, but again, like I said, be very careful not to split the case wide open or rip it apart because there is a ribbon cable in there. Okay, so now it's coming apart. Let me back that up a bit. As you can see. And that's where it gets tricky because here you have a tendency, okay, well, let's just pull it open. Well, no, just wiggle it. There we go. And there it is. And as you can see, there's the, the ribbon cable I was talking about. So if you rip that open, you're going to have a problem. You're going to break that cable and that's it. You're uh, buying a new display. Okay, so now you got the two halves opened. And next you got to remove the ribbon cable. The uh, best way to, use, to do that is to use something plastic or like this or, or this tool. And there's a tab, a white tab right here. And it needs to be lifted. Okay, so I'm just going to go underneath it. Very gently lift it up. There we go. Don't use too much force. You break that tab. That's it. Your, machine, your uh, unit's done. So once that's done, you can just pull the screen off. So there's your screen. If you were going to replace that, the next step would be to uh, remove remove it from under these tabs. 
more than likely yours would be broken so you wouldn't really care about scratching it or anything like that but um, if you can see there's there's a lockdown tabs here which would basically the screen would lock would first go in at an angle it would go in at an angle like this and then snap together that way uh, so these are snaps here so you need to lift those snaps without breaking them to get that screen out and that'd be a little tricky for sure but it can be done so that's the screen portion okay now we got the battery the speaker the battery the speaker and the uh, actually actual electronics um, well if you're replacing the battery these look like they would be uh, they would slot in but they don't these lift up so best thing to do is put something behind it like this and just lift okay so let me bring that down again I'll put that connector back on okay so there's the connector and it just lifts up and off so I just put my little tool behind it like that lift it up there it is uh, the battery is probably held on by adhesive so if you're uh, taking that off you'll need to pull it off and do some physical pulling on that uh, speaker is the same thing you lift up the connector so I'm going to put that tool behind it again and lift um, careful not to scratch anything on here or short anything on the actual circuit board uh, so you know if you can use a plastic tool I know I wasn't but uh, I know how to do this now we got one two three four screws holding the LCD down the uh, sorry the electronics down and let's see what size screwdriver that uses okay it's not that size I like to use the larger screw bit that fits the screws. Okay, and that is a uh, that is a Phillips Zero. Okay, so you're going to need a Phillips Zero. I don't know if I can get that to focus in on that or not. There it is, PH Zero. So Phillips Zero. There we go again. Okay, uh, so Phillips Zero. Use that size bit and take the screws out. Now, I don't know why you'd be taking the electronics off, probably to replace them. Uh, but anyways, I'll do that. Show you how that works. There we go. Let me back that up again. There's your electronics out of that. There's the uh, GPS uh, antenna and uh, the micro SD slot and the USB so that's all there is to taking that off and then you have just the back casing with the battery like I said that's just stuck on there with some adhesive uh, um, which is easy, probably easy to peel off but the speaker looks like it's built right into the back so or glued right into the back so you, if you were to replace the speaker you need to get the whole back piece okay so there's the disassembly of that whole unit uh, my next video, I'll put it back together again.